Hello everyone, hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 298. It's a medium level problem. The problem name is sum of numbers with unit units digit k. So the problem statement says that given two integers num and k, consider a set of positive integers with the following properties. The units digit of each integer is k and the sum of integers in that particular set is num. So what we need to do is that we need to return minimum possible size of such a set or minus one uh, if it doesn't exist. Now uh, it says that that's the set can contain multiple instances of the same integer and the sum of an empty set is considered to be zero and the unit digit uh, units digit of a number is the right mode, uh, rightmost digit of the number. Right. So uh, what we need to do is that we, we need to find a set we need to find a set of minimum size where each number present in this in that set has k as the rightmost digit right k as the rightmost digit and the sum of numbers present in that particular set comes out to be num okay now let's look into the example so example one says that uh, the sum is 58 and the digit which has to be present on the rightmost position is 9 so the answer comes out to be 2 because one valid set is 9 and 49. So we can see both the numbers has have 9 on the rightmost position and the sum is 58. So that is why this is a valid answer. Another valid set is 19 and 39 because of the same reason. So it can be shown that 2 is the minimum possible size of a valid set. If we come uh, look into the second example then 37 and 2. So that means we need a set which has two which has numbers having two on the rightmost position and sum is 37 now again this is not at all possible because uh now like if two is present on the rightmost part then obviously uh summing uh, like adding those numbers will always result in an uh, in an even number but this the sum is an odd number so obviously this is not possible so return, we return minus one and if we look into the third example so the sum is zero and k equals to 7 so output is 0 because the sum of an empty set is considered to be 0 so yeah we are good to go with this case uh, the constraint says that the sum can go up to 3000 and k can go from 0 to 9 because obviously we have 10 possible uh, values of a digit so uh, let's try to understand the problem with the help of a diagram uh, switch to the whiteboard yeah this is the whiteboard so suppose we have a number suppose we have a number uh, 9 right so this if this is the rightmost number then what are the possible values so it says that set can have a uh, set should have all the number uh, uh, like all the rightmost digit as the given number like th that is case so suppose we take an example of 9 right so suppose the given number is 9 so what will happen either the rightmost digit will have 9 or if we add two numbers if we add two numbers having 9 on the rightmost digit then what what does it come it comes out to be 8 forget about the digits which are coming here because 9 9 it comes out to be 18 but we only need to consider the rightmost digit right so uh, if, if we add two numbers uh, having 9 at the rightmost digit then it comes out to be 8 on the rightmost part now again if we add 9 uh, we add the third number then it comes out to be 27 so that means 7 comes out to be rightmost digit and so on so that means there are only 10 possibilities for every number so, so there are only at most 10 possibilities for every number that if it is added n number of times uh, there are only uh, 10 possibilities which can occur on the rightmost digit like for example if we take the example of 2 so if we add if, if there is just a single number 2 so that means always the sum of the uh, this number will be 2 like rightmost digit will be 2 suppose we have two numbers having 2 on the rightmost part so it comes out to be 4 on the rightmost part if we have 3 then it comes out to be 6 then 8 then 0 because if we have five numbers having 2 on the rightmost part then the sum comes out to be 0 and here let's assume whatever be the case so that means that is why we have zero so that is that means it it's it's just like a table table of a particular number similar we saw for nine for six we can see then if we have one number then the sum comes out to be uh, a value which has six on the rightmost part uh, if we have six two times then it comes out to be two 
6, 2, if we have 3 times, it comes out to be 8. And if it is 4 times, it comes out to be 4. It, if 5 times, it comes out to be 30, so 0. Now, again, if we if we do it for 6 times, it, it is 6. So, we can see that here we see a cycle. So, at most, we can have uh, 10 possible values. Because if we consider the 11th value, suppose we consider 6 into 11. So, if you see again, 6 will be multiplied with 1 on the rightmost button which has already been done in the first step so that is why there are only 10 possible values now let's come to the second part of the problem which says we need a set of the minimum size right so you uh, we just need to uh, think in the way that if we have suppose if we, we, we need to find the sum of two uh, we need to find the sum of n numbers which has like in the given example which has a sum of 58 with 9 being on the rightmost part right so just look into the problem if we take just one number whatever the number is since 9 is the on on the rightmost part the sum cannot come to 58 right because here we have 8 and here we have 9 so that is not possible at all right as soon as we add one more one more number which has 9 on the, on the rightmost part so the sum comes out to be 8 means i mean 8 on the rightmost part and here also we have 8 that means there is a possibility that as soon as we add two numbers we are good to go now we need the sum we need that the sum is equals to 58 so now now what we can do we can add anything here we can add 4 here we can add 0 here which becomes 49 and 9 or whatever is the case it's just that we can add any number on the left hand side it's just that right the right digit should match the right digit of the sum so this is the main logic that we will be using like suppose 37 the second example was 37 and 2 now just a second too much lag yeah 37 and 2 so now if you see 2 is not equal to 7 what we do we, we add one more 2 so it, it it comes out to be 4 again 4 is not equal to 7 we add one more 2 6 6 is not equal to 7 we add one more 2 it becomes 8 that is not equal to 7 we add one more 2 it becomes 0, 0 is not equal to 7. So we keep on doing this for 10 times because at max we can have 10 different values. Now, whenever a value matches, we may have a possible solution. It is not guaranteed because suppose that, suppose that, now that is an edge case actually, but this is the main concept. Now, the edge case here is that suppose you add 2 5 times, okay? So the sum comes out to be 10, right? Now, what if we have a number here? Uh, let's take an example you'll understand it better suppose we have a number six we have a number uh, not six in this case actually for two this will work but suppose we add it five times we add, uh, let's take an example of nine let's take an example of nine okay so as soon as we add nine two times the minimum sum that will come is 18 right the minimum sum that will come is 18 but suppose the given sum is 8. So the question says that the sum should be 8 and the rightmost digit should be 9. Now this is not at all possible because you see here 9 is already greater than 8. Right? 9 is already greater than 8. Suppose it would have been 28. Let's take an example of 28. Just a second. Yeah. So suppose this is 28. Now what will happen is that as soon as we add 9 and then add 9, it becomes 8, right? Now, is it possible? Is it possible that uh, this uh, this this uh, this sum can be obtained? So, if you look into the pot, uh, possibility, then this is nine, this is nine, it is eight. So, yes, we do have a possible solution. Let's try to add some things here. So, if we add, yeah, this will be possible. Actually, nineteen and nine will be possible. But if this sum is 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 less than the given two number sum, then this will not be possible. Uh, I was trying to explain it with the help of an example where uh, if you need n instances of the number, suppose n into 7, suppose the rightmost digit has to be 7. So if n instances of 7 is needed and if, if, if obviously this will, this will be equal to x, but if the given sum is less than x, then that will not be possible. So this was the edge test case I was I was talking about. I was not able to think for a number in this case, or a different number basically. So that is why. Uh, however, if we, if we still want an example, then it will be eight and nine. 
so if the rightmost digit has to be 9 and the sum is 8 then this will not be a valid so this will be the approach that we will follow uh, let's look into the code uh, to understand it better we'll be just writing the code for the logic that we just discussed so if number that means if sum is 0 obviously we return 0 because that will be an empty set and um, uh, this is the sum so sum is basically for for the edge test case that we discussed that if we are taking n instances of a particular number then the uh, the sum should be less than equal uh, less than uh, it should not be less uh, so the given number should be the given sum should be greater than uh, this particular value that we are calculate now answer is minus one what we are doing at every instance we are adding it uh, so we check whether uh, mod of both of them are equal or not that sum mod 10 equals to the given number mod 10 if that is done then answer equals to plus one we break the loop finally we check if answer equals to minus one so this is for the case when this condition was not met so we return minus one also the edge case that we discussed that these are the instances that we need and if we multiply it by k if this comes out to be equal to sorry greater than the given sum then we return minus one so and finally if these two conditions are not met that means we have a valid answer and we return answer in that case so yeah again uh, this this was the main logic and this was the condition that we needed to take care of so uh, hope you learn something new from this video do subscribe to the channel also do support the video by giving up a thumbs up and stay tuned for other lead code solutions uh, take care bye bye